Hi everyone, welcome to Zainat's Neat PG Information Series. All India Round 2 joint list has been shared by MCC on the 28th of Feb and it has been uh, shared with all the states. This includes All India Round 2 allotted and joint candidates and two All India Round 1 allotted, joined and continued and not upgraded in All India Round 2 candidates. Both these sets of candidates are not eligible for any other counselling be it state counselling or All India mop-up. And this list has been shared with the states to ensure that they are not allotted in any other counselling or they don't participate in any other counselling. Now, uh, with this information, there is a lot of information that can be derived for further counsellings. We have updated the All India Round 2 admitted status in the allotment map tool in Zynet. Uh, there were a lot of queries on how to use this information and derive possibilities of vacancies for the further counsellings. We'll just take you through how the All India Round to Admitted status can help you correlate with state allotments or All India mop up allotments. We'll start with the All India Round to Admitted list. Like we said, the allotment map uh, in the allotment map tool, we have updated All India Round to Admitted status against each All India Round to allotment. Either it would be admitted candidate, admitted seat, or a not admitted seat. So uh, this admit list of admitted candidates cannot complete compete in any other counselling. So we will show you how uh, you will be able to derive information out of it. This list of admitted candidates basically will not be competing in All India Counseling and therefore you will know that your competition is limited to candidates other than these admitted candidates. So uh, in Zynerd, you can go into the allotment mapping tool and select primary counseling as All India Counseling round two. And you will have the list of all 18,983 allotments of All India Round 2. So from here, you can filter out either the admitted candidate list, candidates list, which is 14,353, or the not admitted candidates list, which is the rest of 4,630 seats. So if you are, let's say, ranked 1,500, and you are still looking at mop-up, you were not allotted your preferred seat, and you're looking at mop-up, let's say, or allotted and you did not join, then in that case, you can look at all the candidates who have been admitted from rank 1 to 1500. So there are 1005 candidates who have been admitted in All India alone from rank 1 to 1500. And this would mean that these candidates would not be competing with you in All India, All India mop-up. Now, if you filter out on the not admitted candidates just above your rank, let's say from 1 to 1500, then you will see that only around 85 candidates have been allotted but not admitted. So these are the seats that were allotted from rank 1 to 1500 and these candidates did not pick up the seats. They would either compete with you in mop-up or they may end up getting a better seat in uh, in uh, their state counselings and not compete with you in mop-up. So we'll come to that part but this will give you a list of candidates who may compete with you in mop-up. This is a partial list alone. There might be additional competition but this may give you some idea on the list of candidates who will compete with you in mop-up. So we said you will have a, a list of candidates who can't compete with you in any counseling, but the eligible and you can derive the not admitted candidates who may be comp, uh, competition for you in mop-up. In addition to that, there are other eligible candidates too. One, there will be candidates who are not allotted any seat in All India Round 2. They were looking for, uh, their choices were limited and they may come back and still compete with you in addition to this allotted and not admitted candidates. This might be a minimal number, but they may come back and compete with you. They might have been waiting for a, for a specific set of seats or, and uh, uh, they might not have been allotted in All India Round 1 or Round 2. So that is additional uh, set of candidates who may be filling up choices above your rank and then there will be new registrations and mop usually these new registrations are only uh, usually these new registrations are based on uh, uh, revised cutoff those candidates who become eligible due to revised cutoff in addition there may be a few new registrations not very high but few new registrations above your rank as well those who did not register and now decide to come back and take a seat in all india mop -up. so this these this would be the a set of candidates who would be filling choices above you in All India Mop-Up. Of this list, you will be able to derive the not admitted candidates list alone from your uh, from the allotment map tool. 
The second uh, data point that you can pick up is the already a mop up vacancies list. This is a partial list of vacancies. So when a candidate is allotted a seat in all India round two, but is not admitted, that means that seat is vacant now, which is a straightforward case. So now in that, so we would be able to see that list of vacancies, which will come up in all India mop up because a candidate was allotted and the candidate did not join the seat in all India round two. How do you do that? It is almost the same. It is not anything different. So uh, I'm taking away uh, the rank range filter. So what are vacancies? The vacancies are those where candidates did not get admitted in All India Round 2. So there are uh, uh, after being allotted. So there are 4,630 vacancies which will arise out of this alone. So uh, there may be additional vacancies. This is a partial list of vacancies, but these should be vacancies. Very rarely we see a few seats like it happened in uh, Rajan Babu this year and in uh, another institute where there was M a DMRD seats, which a DMRD NB seats, which were not there. there. There may be a few allotments in this 4,630, which were wrong allotments. Additional candidates allotted when seats were not there or uh, there were uh, issues in allotments, etc. Very few, maybe in single digits. Those seats alone from this will not be available, but the rest of the seats may be available. So have a, uh, it is not, it may not be hundred percentage, right? But to an extent, maybe around 10 to 20 seats may not be available, but the rest of the seats should be available. You can always check for your rank range. If your rank range is, if you expect that in all your uh, rank is around 2,500 and you want to check all the seats, which may come where allotted between the rank ranges, 1,500 and 3,500. And uh, you want to know for a particular uh, uh, course and uh, quota, what are the seats that are that may come out to be vacant? You will see the exact list of, for instance, in this case, pediatrics AAQ general seats, which have not been admitted, which will highly likely to are highly likely to be vacancies in all India mop up. So this will help you in generating a list of vacancies and possibilities for all India mop. -up. Now, uh, one thing we want to be very clear is that the total vacancies are not 4,630. The total vacancies will be all India round two allotted and not joined vacancies, which are 4,630. Plus there are a lot of seats which are not allotted at all in all India round two. Nobody opted for these seats. The reasons are that one, they belong to certain categories where the number of candidates were less than the number of seats. And then certain categories where they were less preferred seats, which are not taken by any candidate. So these seats are not allotted at all. They will come into All India mop-up in the same category. So if it was a PWD seat, it will come into All India mop-up in the same category. And if nobody opts for those seats in All India mop-up, then they will be converted to the parent category. So if it is EWS, PW, the first uh, EWS candidates would be able to take those seats. And if no EWS candidate op opts for it, then it would be converted to a general category for general categories candidates to take those seats. This will happen within mop -up. But to start with, they will belong to the parent category and we first be available for the, uh, they will be, uh, uh, to start with, they will be in their original category, which they belong to. If it is a PWD seat, it will be shown in the seat matrix as a PWD seat. So this set of vacancies will also come in to All India mop-up and after conversion will most likely get allotted to a candidate if it is a preferred seat. Some MNG or an, uh, management or deemed or NRI seats may not get five, even allotted even towards the end, but most of the seats usually get allotted after conversion except for less preferred clinical in less preferred locations. So. Uh, uh, this is the complete list of All India mop up vacancies, of which a major part, which is around uh, 4,630 seats, are available. Uh, uh, it can be derived through the allotment map. Now, the second uh, here, there are around 1,600 and plus vacancies, which, uh, which are not allotted to anyone. Around 800 plus of them, more than 50 percentage, are deemed. The rest are belong to AAQ or DNB and uh, belong to. Uh, cat categories where there were lesser candidates or ca categories where nobody preferred that seats. And uh, uh, the third set of seats that you, you will be able to, the third set of uh, information that you will be able to derive is the state level vacancies in state round two arising out of All India round two joinings. So when, I, when a candidate is allotted a seat in All India round two and then goes and joins All India 
round two seat. If the candidate had held a state round one seat, that should become vacant. There is no other go because the candidate has to take the originals from the state round one institute. Or in any case, they are admitted in all India round two, they are out of states counseling. So the state round one seat should become vacant in the seat in the state and this set of state level vacancies can be derived from all in, from the allotment map now uh, the state level vacancies in many states are already known after this because the deadline is already clear but in some states if it is not known or if you still wish to confirm if all the state round one vacancies have been are part of the seat, state uh, r2 seat matrix you will be able to do it with the allotment map how do i uh, derive the state uh, vacancies in R2 that are expected out of state are R1 candidates who have joined, allotted candidates who have joined the All India R2 seats. Uh, this is how you do it. Allotment mapping, go to allotment mapping, select your state counseling. Let's say I'm taking a particular state counseling here, for example. Let's say I'm taking uh, Tamil Nadu, uh, Ganman Kota seats, and then I am selecting round one. So I'm looking at round one allotment now on the left panel. So these are all 1,367 Tamil, Tamil Nadu round one allotments. All these candidates have been allotted. We don't know whether they joined, whether they did not join their state round one seat. But we know whether they have been admitted in All India round two. So if you look at filter out on All India round two and say admitted candidates, there are 357 candidates. For example, this rank three has been admitted in government medical college co-time in pediatrics in all India round two. So for sure, this is a vacancy, which we have already checked. And uh, this is a vacancy in Madras Medical College under OC Open. So you will have the complete list of vacancies that should be there in your state based on all India round two joining if the candidate had taken a or had also been allotted a state round one seat. So uh, there is no admitted status relevant here. The admitted status you need to filter on is on the other counseling that they have attended, which would be all India round two admitted over on the right side of the panel, you will get the complete list of your state round two vacancies, which should have existed in your state round two state matrix. Now, how will this help you? Uh, this will help you in multiple ways. This will help you generate the state round two vacancies and uh, also look at, uh, if you are looking at all the empty rows, it will also look give you an idea of how many people do not have an all India round two admission and therefore will continue to compete with you too in your state round two. Most likely that they do, uh, it is highly likely that if you do not, if they do not have any other admitted seat here, they would be competing with you in your counseling for round two. The last set of information that you can generate as possible vacancies in further state rounds or all India mop up. The possible vacancies can be generated. Uh, based on state round two allotments that we would also add on. We have already uh, all the counselings, all the allotments that have been shared till uh, yesterday uh, noon, we have already updated them. We would be updating the rest to within a day of uh, the allotment results being published within a day or uh, max two days within the allotment results being published as quick as possible because mop up choice filling is also starting. So once we update that state round to allotment list, you will be able to look at possible vacancies in further state rounds or all India mop up and take decisions. So how do I generate the possibilities in a particular counseling uh, uh, derive uh, how to generate possibilities? Let us say I'm looking at all India counseling PG medical round two. And then, like we mentioned earlier, I will look at all not admitted candidates who may be uh, the list of candidates who would compete with me. And then round one was over and only post that this particular round two allotment happened and therefore this should have been a better seat, but they did not join those seats somehow. And now I would select it round two here. What are the round two allotments of these candidates? Now you can see that this particular candidate who was allotted an all India round two seat in Lady Harding did not join that all India round two seat and has been allotted a general medicine seat in Mumbai Maharashtra in their round two state round two counseling. So if you look at all those similar uh, allotments, you will be able to get an idea of whether these candidates would come back to all India mop up that will let you know the possibilities. So uh, this will 
as we keep adding on we have now added on telangana maharashtra gujarat as you see uh, chandigarh etc we uh, would uh, would be adding on a few states odisha is pending and then uh, there are one or two smaller states which are pending now we would be adding those uh, state allotments as well and then as and when the allotments come in for the rest of the states we would be adding this will give you an idea of any state counseling this is for all india round 2 you can further put in your Uh, select your state counseling uh, uh, round one over here to see your state counseling round two possibilities as well, and that will help you derive as you derive all the possibilities as you move forward with whenever the, there is an allotment that is happening. What is the impact of the allotment? Will be you will be able to see from this too. So uh, the expected competition can also be derived from the same list. You will be able to remove competition, and you will also be able to see who doesn't have a seat, and therefore will for sure compete with you in further rounds. Uh, beyond all this, there might be additional competition in terms of newly registered candidates, or in terms of candidates who decide and change their choices at any point in time in the further rounds. So keep that in uh, uh, in uh, as a factor as well when you are looking at. possibilities or vacancies now all this is the data that exists in the system in the allotment map is actual data admitted candidates list is actual data allotted candidates list is actual allotted data but whether an allotted candidate will join or not is something that we may not know until the state shares the admitted list it will be difficult for us to share the state's admitted list because uh, in and in any case it happens after uh, all the uh, choice filling for all india mop up and other counselings happen so we would be updating only the all india round to base admitted list for the states you will have to take a decision on whether a candidate would join the state allotment allotted list allotted seat or not uh based on whatever information is available whether the seat is a better seat than what they would possibly get etc that is a call that you need to take before deciding or making decisions thanks a lot uh, hope uh, zainad has been helpful in this entire process of counselings uh, wish you all the best